Okay, well, welcome to the ring ceremony of Trinity, now Rice, and Jesse Rice. Um, I am Brent Anderson. I am Trinity's, uh, she is my great niece, uh, Stacy's daughter. And Stacy and uh, I'm, I'm Stacy's uncle Brent. They didn't know what they were getting into when they gave me the microphone. So we'll see, we'll see how that works. But thank you again for, for coming here to celebrate their marriage and celebrate their, the, the beginning of, of, of a long path here on earth and thereafter. Yeah. Um, marriage, you know, this, the ring ceremony is, a, a, is in addition to, to the marriage ceremony. You've already, you're already married. You've already done your vows to each other. And you, this is to, for everyone to, to celebrate this union of Trinity and Jesse. We appreciate that. Um, Marriage is an important covenant, and the proclamation to the family states, we, the First Presidency and Council, and Council of the Twelve, Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, solemnly proclaim that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained of God, and that the family is eternal to, and central to the Creator's plan for the eternal destiny of His children. Now, we know that marriage is not easy. It's important, but it's not easy. Uh, it's something that not just happens, it must be created. And so I've got a couple quotes. I've got a few things, words of advice. Um, I'm not going to read all of it, uh, but I'll probably give you a, some of, of the non-Reader's Digest version, but we'll do that a little bit later here. But um, for example, um, Elder Bednar states that, I, of, uh, I often emphasize the truth that you not simply find the marriage that you hope to have, rather you create it. So you guys are creating something together. This is something that is going to take work. It's not going to be easy. You've talked to some people I know that uh, know that marriage is not the easiest thing in the world. It takes a lot of communication, a lot of working as a, as a couple. Um, Elder Uchtdorf says, great marriages are built brick by brick, day after day over a lifetime. So it's a little bit each day. He also reminded us that if we are to to look at for the imperfections in a spouse, you would definitely find them. We'll certainly find them because we everyone has some. On the other hand, if we look for the good, we will surely find it. And because everyone has many good qualities. Now, that, hopefully, that's what you, one of the reasons you got married. You saw the good in each other. You said, okay, uh, there's, that, that cancels out all the bad stuff, but there's some really good stuff. And I'm going to stick together with this, this young man and young woman here. Um, another author uh, says, a happy marriage is is as hard and as simple as loving enough to forgive and forgiving enough to love no matter what. It's a continuous conversation with the person who cares about the things you care about the most in the world there. Um, there was a, an author called Wilford Peterson. He had a poem. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty long one, just a nice page, but it's, uh, it's called The Art of Marriage. And I'll just read a couple of the things that come from that, and I'll give you a copy of, of his full, full text there. The little things are the big things. So what's the little things on life? It's the little things that never being too old to hold hands. You don't have to worry about that now. You're not old. But never, always remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. Are you willing to do that? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. Never go to sleep angry. You might have some sleepless nights. But you might, but never go to, without resolving those differences. Do not take each other for being for granted. You're standing together to the face of the world, forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family, doing things for each other not out of duty but in the spirit of joy. 
speaking words of appreciation. That's always the, the little things, you know, there, there's gonna, you're going to be doing things for each other and just being aware and, and acknowledging some of the things that each of you bring to the marriage and things that you're doing to, on a daily basis. Um, having the capacity to for, forgive and forget. And it's not really about marrying, being married to the right person. It's about being the right person for the marriage. So that's where the work comes in. Make sure that you're the right person. You're, hard, you're, you're doing your effort. You're doing the, what you can to be the right person. And that makes that kind of has a synergy effect. That means if you're doing it and he's doing it, as far as trying to create that marriage, you'll, you'll be able to hit new levels, levels that you never thought of before and be able to see the beauty and the love that you have for each other, and it'll be undying. Now, the exchanging of the ring. The ring, so, the ring is an appropriate symbol because it has no beginning and, and no end. It's one continuous round. Wedding rings symbolize eternal love and commitment within a relationship. So that's why you know, everyone wears the ring on their fingers. It's, that's their commitment to that relationship. These are symbols of your love for each other, and it has no beginning and end. In, in, the, in marriage, you, you together can make, you are, are more than you are separately. You're, you're even more than the whole. But even, and, and the most important part about that is to become complete. There's a, you got Jesse and Trinity, and want to become complete requires to include the Lord in your relationship. Keep that in mind, because with his help and assistance, it can get you through a lot of, time, of stressful times, some difficult times, but even the good times, showing you the love and beauty that can be found within your, your marriage. Now is the time for exchanging rings. Now, Jesse, you have a ring, or someone does. Anybody have a box of Cracker Jacks? Okay, he's got the ring, and he's going to put on her correct finger. Second one from the right. Yeah, okay. Now, Jesse, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. This ring is a symbol of my love. As it encircles your finger. As it encircles your finger. May I remind you always that you are surrounded by my eternal and enduring love. Can you... Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, a little bit long. I'll cut it in half here. As it encircles your finger, may it remind you always. As it encircles your finger, may it remind you always. That you are surrounded by my enduring and eternal love. That you are surrounded by my enduring and eternal love. I will cherish you forever. I will cherish you forever. Thank you. Now Trinity Street. And she places that on his finger. Now repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear as a symbol of my everlasting love. I give you this ring as a symbol to my to your ever to, to my everlasting love. I will always love you and cherish you. I will always love you and cherish you. And honor our marriage in every way. And honor our marriage in every way. Okay. Now take take a moment as you look at each other and you look at gaze into each other's eyes. And see, this is a, a really it's a sacred commitment that you're making. The ring is only a symbol of that. So when, every time you see your ring, you'll be able to remember that you've committed each other wholly to cherish each other, to it, hold each other in a place that the eternal love can grow and grow as you get older and progress through this life. Take a second now. Take a look at the people in the, in the audience, starting on the right hand, and just, just, just sweep across, slowly across all these people. They come here to celebrate your union. A lot of them... Uh, you know very well, some of them too well. Uh, it's, it's great to have these people uh, in your life. They're supporting you and they're here to celebrate this occasion with you and, and see your commitment through this ring ceremony that you're committing to always remember and cherish each other. May God bless your marriage with joy and happiness. You may now kiss each other as man and wife. present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rice.